Looks pretty good. Yeah, it needs to come out just a little bit. Now it needs to come out just a little bit too. That one could come in just a hair. It's kind of hard to say whether we should obsess over it, but it's, it's close, but that wall is really tall. So it seems prudent to make sure it's correct. And that one could come in just a hair. That one's like so close. It could come in just a little bit too, maybe like an eighth of an inch. So important question, who's doing the extension ladder work in the wind? Well, you should be protected from the wind because of the eave. Wait, our jingle bell's back. Sweet. Wow. So these are what's jingling. Rock, paper, scissors? Okay. Hmm. I played this with Justin the other, other day via text message and I lost. Uh oh. Oh, it's so scary. Hold on, I'm like strategizing. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in that head. You're taking too long. You're taking too long. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> yes! Planned that from the get go. I always pick scissors, so I thought, I don't know what I was thinking. I lost. That's all that matters. <laughs> I feel that work like this at heights, it's really hard because if you really love your spouse, you don't really want them up there either. So you kind of go through this mental game of like, well, who's more valuable? Who can we afford to lose off the ladder? <laughs> I've always been the kind of guy who makes decisions on paper. So let's just work through this together here let's for a second. Let's tally our pros and our cons. Let's make a Jesse has... column. Yeah. Let's <laughs> a column. Heck, let's put Bugaboo in here, because he has value. He can go up ladders, we know oh, that. Oh, Bugaboo's so good, but he can't but, come down ladders. No, but he also doesn't have thumbs to operate the uh, impact driver. But let's let's put that on there as a negative, no thumbs. So Bugaboo's already not looking too good, but Alyssa does have thumbs, and so do I. Alyssa can cook, so that's a pro. We need that, need to be fed. I see, I think we should be careful putting cooking on Jesse's column, because I mean, it's possible, but whether or not you survive is a different question. And I'm good at math. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> and I'm okay. good at eating chocolate. And, and, and Alyssa's really good at video editing. <laughs> I think we should do rock, paper, scissors. Again? We already did rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> no, we already did, as I'm saying. Like this, it seems a lot easier. This, this is getting too complicated. So yesterday I volunteered to be on the outside of the house because I feel that plumbing is a pretty critical thing to do and sometimes like there's challenges that are going on and I have a hard time seeing the big picture and making those judgment calls. So sometimes I'd rather do like the grunt work of just putting the screws in because it's easier than I guess solving the problem and coming up with a strategy and um, trying to really figure out what's going on because oftentimes their problems are complex. So, are you ready to do this? Yeah, don't, don't worry. There's plenty of screws to put in up here, too. Like, it's equal, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. They'll both be on ladders. The number of screws outside is the same as the number inside minus the legs. So, yeah, we'll both have to be working on ladders today, inside and out. But the good news is we don't have to move it far. But the funny thing is, it's the same amount of effort whether you have to move it three inches or a quarter of an inch. Up. Right. Same deal. So yeah, starting low will work good. Yep. Give you a chance to get comfortable on the ladder. It'll be challenging out here because the height increases exponentially, whereas the footing area for the ladder doesn't. So there may be a point out here where we're actually up on the berm to get enough. I don't remember, I think it's like four to one. So for every four feet you go up, you want one foot away from gotcha. whatever it is that you're doing. So that's uh, 20, 30, 34 feet. So what would you want your ladder base to be at four to one? It'll be really close. Yeah. Make sure you got a couple bits with you, of yeah. course, because you're going to want to put all the small screws in, the big screws. All right. You ready? Yes. Well, if you're not loving it, we can always rock, paper, scissors again later. Okay. I was thinking huh? I might put different pants on Oh. because I can't hang things on here. My pants will fall off. Oh, yep. The pockets aren't good. So if I'm going up on the ladder, I don't want to be like... You're going to want both hands. Yep. Yeah. Try to hook the impact to your so pocket. Maybe yep. I'll do that real quick. Ready? Oh, look at that. All right, I'm ready. Those look like they'll work. They will do the job. They're dang tough. Right. They're not as flexible. So there's a trade-off. Yeah. In celebration of high work, 
we're going to be adding brand new bits to Alyssa's toolbox. So she's trading in two tired, crusty, hard, hard to tell apart, hard to tell apart stripped bits. And there's not even a, not even a bit. It's like a drill bit now for brand new shiny drill bits. Woohoo! You'll appreciate that when you're up high, I'm sure. Oh yeah, and you could actually feel these apart just by feel alone. Oh yeah. And these feel the same. So it's, it's these little things that make your life just a little bit better. I will, I will say that GRK has a little better system by color coding than Milwaukee or DeWalt. Both of those guys just put their brand color on the bits, which doesn't help guys. Find a better way to distinguish. Yeah. Because a lot of these stupid screws are T20, T25, T30, yep. blah, blah, blah. It's nice to be able to reach in your pocket and grab the one you need. So windy. In the forecast oh today, on the north side of the house is gale force winds. Okay, what does that mean? Um, well, the water, it's a little deep. Okay. You're good to go all the way to the bracket. kind of playing with the ladders and extending them and stuff, we realized that we're pretty sure our ladder at full extension, 26 feet, is not gonna reach the peak of the roof because we actually have the ladder on our hillside, which means it's further away from the house that it needs to be. But that's because if it's not on the hillside, it's way too close to the house. And that's just not good because your center of balance is totally behind you, not where you need to be. So we decided it's worth this little time investment to see if we can get the forklift back there because this is not a today problem, but we're going to have this problem uh, until the house is done back there with potentially windows and siding and whatever have you. And then see if we can work from the bucket because that would just be awesome. Okay. Off-road forklift, baby. This huckleberry picking. I'm shocked. I think you should go rock crawling. Let's, did you know? True story. That the guys who build rock climbing buggies build forklifts. For no, the this way. is what they use to oh, build really? a rock climbing buggy. Awesome. I think we should take a photo and send it to your brother. I have no idea why they do that. Right? You gotta be like, check it out. Wow. Is this gonna work? You think? I think it'll work. I feel good here. I feel like it's stable. That's what I was worried about was just making sure we're on level ground. And Guys, I'm so happy. Jesse and I aren't afraid of ladders, but we also really don't want to be 26 feet high on an extension ladder if we don't have to be. Common sense, right? Now I'm going to happily go up in the bucket and I'll leave the skilled rock crawling to Jesse.
feel compared to the ladder? Very, very happy. Yeah? This feels good. I can do nice. this all day. But I like to hear. You should be good to put lags in all the way down the middle of that. And again, just tighten them. Yep. But don't suck them in. Right. I've got furring in there and it's pretty tight so you won't be able to suck it in, but don't. I'm the worst person in the history of collated screw gun users. Doesn't get worse than this, folks. Checkity check, check, check. Ow. What the heck? Why are you not sucking up? Suck up. Okay. Okay. Try just going up. Go up? Yep. How much room from the roof over there? A foot and a half. I think you will clear, Jesse, I think you'll clear the brace. If I come down, I go forward and I go up. Am I outside the roof with my boom? I think you are. When you're operating a forklift, you have, sometimes there's a couple of ways to get to the destination. Sometimes it's tilting the forks up. Sometimes it's boom up. Sometimes it's boom out, in which case you are going up. And then sometimes, like you really don't want your boom all the way extended. You get to a point where you have to know the weight ratios, which they provide a handy little chart. You can feel it too if you're starting to get a little heavy on the bucket or a little too far out. So what Jesse's doing right now is he's moving the forklift forward so that I'm more up directly above him instead of out, which makes, if that makes sense. I'm having to keep an eye for the basket and the boom hitting the timber frame.
That's pretty good. Tight, 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 tight. Pretty good. Buttons are all up. I think I'm ready to move. Okay. Actually, I can reach the next panel. So how far out can I go with legs? Uh, what's the next panel? This one? Yep, I'm halfway on that one. Okay. Let me put those in real quick. Let me get this row of screws in and then I think we're gonna have to go back. So we're sort of getting in the position where we kind of finagled our way in here in the first place and now we're kind of having to get into some precarious positions to finish the remainder of the wall. But in my opinion, this is better than ladder work. So here we go. Get my umbilical cord out of the way. Jesse, am I good? Where am I good? Into the brace? You're good. Uh, pretty much all the way down. On the lags, okay? Good forklift driving skills. Man, I'm yes. very happy with how that went. Look at us, we only have one side left. Is that the east side? Yeah. Yeah. Might be able to tackle that, what do you think? It's just putting screws in. Yeah. Feel good on the mind. Well, I actually don't really want to move the forklift right now. Okay. Hmm, no? what's that sound? Hmm. Oh, it's alive. Do you my help with the forklift or are you good? No. Okay. And I think, do we have that camera somewhere? Um, it's down there on the okay. lumber pile. Everything looks right too. Like your eye can, it's amazing what your eye can see at a distance. So everything mm -hmm. looks good. Um, we still need to do this little bit right here in the corner. Yeah. But that's laterable. So we'll do that maybe even after this is out of here. Yeah. Um, cool. So I think we're going to take a snack break and I have something I have to show you guys. You're going to either freak out. Now you're just going to freak out. I freaked out. Come check this out. So you guys remember that paper wasp nest that we got rid of, the big one? If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Well, guess what? So last night I came in here to reroute the wiring to put a door or a light switch over by the door so we can start turning the lights off because we have grid power now. And guess what I found? So you know that dormant nest that I said, eh, it's dormant, don't worry about it? Guess what? It's not dormant anymore. There was probably 20 wasps going in and out of this last night. Oh my gosh. So I think what happened was I was running a wire over here and using my impact and I woke them up. It was like 1030 and I saw a wasp flying around and I thought, what are you doing? And he was kind of up in my face and I was like, dude, bro, chill out, man. And then I looked around and this thing is active. There he is, see him? There he is, he's walking home. Walk, 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 walk. I'll just walk over here. Oh, there one just came out. Oh, there's two, there's four. Nyom. Oh, there they go. Really? So I'm thinking, instead of doing the spray thing, it's not a very big nest yet. And it was super dormant last night after I turned the lights off. 
So I think tonight we may try to just bag that one. Put a bag over it and knock it down and try not to get stung. <sighs> we decided to call it quits for the evening. We're really happy with what we got done. I think we, we thought or we knew that plumbing the north wall and getting all the hardware in was gonna take all day if not longer. And I can tell you, if we were using the ladders, one, I don't think our ladder would have gotten to the peak, so we may have been out ladder shopping right now. If you could even just go down to the local hardware store and buy like a 50 foot ladder. If we had the ladders here, there's no way we would get it done today because we'd be moving the ladder every two seconds. We're calling it quits because I have a friend in town. It's very rare people are up in our neck of the woods. I haven't seen her in eight years, seven, eight years, something like that. Jesse and I were chatting on the deck. We have a pretty good plan for tomorrow and we think we're gonna leave the forklift there because moving it to and from the back of the house is pretty precarious. So we're gonna do everything there before moving it, which means building the overhang of that roof, putting the rest of the fascia in. There's a lot of work to do. So I think we're gonna start on that tomorrow morning and see how far we can get. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Anything else critical that needs to come in? Oh, I can get that. In you go, Droney. I thought of a way to make our house safer. How? So that there's no way anybody will ever break into our house. How? Let's not build stairs. Let's just oh, totally. buy one of these. You know, I, I like that idea. And then we just put ourselves in the house and then at night we just retract it so nobody can get in. I grew up living on a second level bedroom and I always liked that no one could get to me. Ha.